So how do you form healthy relationships in a narcissistic world? How do you form healthy friendships and avoid toxicity? How do you unify in a partnership without experiencing narcissistic abuse? Well, I think this comes down to your understanding of what relationships are even for. What purpose do relationships serve in your life? If you can answer this, then you'll know how to navigate this world of narcissism. I'm going to share with you my understanding of relationships right here on The Royal Week. Before I get into this message, I want to let you know that I am taking one-on-one -on -one appointments down in the description box. You'll find access to my calendar to schedule some one-on-one -on -one time with me. Now then, we're talking about how to form healthy relationships in a very narcissistic world. It almost sounds impossible, but really it comes down to your understanding of what relationships are even for. So first, let me start off by getting rid of some of the unhealthy thinking that we all fall into. One of them is the idea that people are needed to complete you. How many of you have fallen into that understanding? You complete me. I need them to complete me, right? The danger behind this mindset is that oftentimes it leads you astray to find somebody of opposite characteristics of you because you feel that opposite a character is what's going to balance you out or some weird thing like that. Opposites attract because they have what I don't, blah, blah, blah. And by now you're aware after being involved with narcissistically abusive people, the people that are into opposite things of you is not necessarily good. It pulls and takes you in directions that you don't want to go in life. Not only that, but I think it robs you of the understanding that you are already made complete. You don't need anybody to complete you at all. That's inviting trouble into your life. As a matter of fact, the ancient understanding through the Old Testament of the Bible is that when God made the first person, Adam, God spoke and said, let us make Adam in our likeness. What does this mean? What's the likeness of God? The likeness of God is completion. God requires nothing to be completed. God is complete. And the first person made was also made complete. But now watch this. Just moments later, according to the story, the next person is made. The question is why? For the purpose of a relationship, right? But why? Was it for completion? No, that's not what it says at all. It says, let us make a suitable helpmate. Help for what? Help for tasks. Help for the heavy load and the burden of this world. So there you have it. Just in the ancient understanding alone, they're giving you and me this understanding of relationships as being for the purpose of being helpful, to help carry a load in life, to help go in a direction, to help accomplish things in this life. That's the purpose of relationships. It's not completion. There's no such thing as a soulmate, if you will. Your soul exists, and when you leave this place, your soul will go where it belongs. There's not going to be any other soul attached to it. You are made complete. And this is, is evident in today's world because there's more and more people choosing to be single, understanding that they exist complete on their own. So now let's talk about why, though, you would want to have relationships in this world and what the purpose is for. Again, it's down to having a suitable helpmate. And I'm going to refer to the Bible again because one of the common themes throughout the Bible when it comes to understanding relationships is it makes the reference of talking about not being unequally yoked. How many of you have heard that statement before? Don't be unequally yoked. And many people, myself included, are like, what does that even mean? What are you talking about? Don't be like eggs? What the heck? It makes no sense, man. Talk English. So let me help you out here. A yoke... It's not the type of yoke that's in an egg. What, right? Understand that back in that day, they used oxen. Oxen, if you don't know what that is, it's like a big, big bull looking creature, strong creature, horns. And these oxen would have the tasks of carrying huge loads in life, doing work, and they would yoke two of them together. A yoke is a beam that would support, be supported between two animals 
for the purpose of the two going faster and stronger than one could alone. Now, if you get this image, you can understand why it would say, do not be unequally yoked in your relationships, because then one's going to have to pull while the other is falling down, going a different direction. You don't want an unequally yoked situation, yet we do this in our relationships all the time. So first, understand the purpose of relationships, at least from my perspective, is for helpfulness, to have help in the tasks and the daily burdens of this life, which means you need to know who you are. You need to know what your purpose is. You need to know where you're going. And then you need to identify with the person who's also going in that direction, who's capable of carrying a load with you. And then you become unified, yoked together, and you move stronger and faster. The two of you, or the three of you, or the whole gang of you, you move in that direction faster and better than one person could alone. This is the purpose of relationships, right? I never thought that I would say this. In fact, for a long time, I disagreed with this, what I'm about to tell you. But I understand arranged marriages. <gasps> Some of you are saying, how dare you? Arranged marriages? How mean, how cruel? But wait a minute. Wait a minute. Arranged marriages, the concept and the idea works like this. Families that grow up knowing other families both doing the same types of things in life, going in the same direction. As their children grow up in these families, they're able to identify, knowing that they were raised in the similar ways, they're going in the same direction, and they're saying, this right here is going to be an equally yoked marriage. And now too many of us say, well, that's cruel. What if one likes blondes rather than brunettes? Well, that's not fair. It robs them of the choice to go with a blonde. Because oftentimes you and I get caught up with focusing on the things that don't matter in life. We focus on the shallow things in relationships, nothing that moves us forward, carrying weight, carrying a load in life. We look at, well, what, who's funnier and who's prettier and who's this and who's that? See, with arranged marriages, they're not worried about that. They understand that that's not the stuff that gets people anywhere in life, unless they're going to be Instagram models or something, but Instagram didn't exist back then, right? So now you can choose who you want to be with based on whether or not you two want to be Instagram models together, I guess. But the whole point of the relationships, no matter what, no matter what your profession is, no matter what you do in life, it's about moving forward. It's about having a suitable helpmate, if you will. That is what relationships are for. But this requires that you first understand who you are in this life, what direction you're going in this life, what are your goals, what's your five-year plan, what's your 10-year plan, and once you identify this, What's your temperament, by the way? What life stream are you on? Are you in a calm stream? Are you a calm personality or are you a turbulent, drama-filled personality? Who can hang with you? Who can help you carry your load? This is your helpmate. You help them, they help you. You move together, same path. If you understand this principle, you'll know how to navigate this world and avoid toxic relationships with narcissistic people who you have no business being with doing things you have no business doing, going places you have no business going, which isn't helpful to your life at all. Listen, I want to help you to understand this principle even further. Down below, you'll find access to my calendar for one-on-one -on -one appointments, telephone call, WhatsApp, FaceTime, video calls are available for you. Text message consultations are available for you. So head on down there. Also, Monday night is Royal We Live Chat. Saturday morning is Royal We Fellowship. Follow me on Instagram. And I will be back here with more videos for you right here on the Royal Wii.